Now you've got grip, you've got a, so you can just take that turn. Just, right. just, just feel that turn. Rubber tires on asphalt grant a maximum speed of about 165 miles per hour in the 24 degree bank turns at Charlotte Motor Speedway. If you go faster than that, you're not going to stay connected to the to the road, and you hit the embankment. That's uh, that's, so that's, dri that's driver intelligence. That's driver knowledge of each particular track in a particular. Well, they would have to know. Charlotte. I presume they would. Yeah. Not, someone would tell them this. Oh, gosh, yes, yeah. There's yeah. a whole yes. team of analysts. like the guy who did 175 miles per hour. I'm sure he told them maximum speed is 165. <laughs> Because as, no. right, yeah, yeah. because as his car was flung off the bank and out right. of the arena. Now, of course, you, yeah. again, you can do 100, 200, 190, 180 going into it. Right. Because you're slowing down. At that point, you just don't want that to happen. And who was it? Was it Mario Andretti who said, mm -hmm. uh, if you're in complete control of your car, you're not in the race? Wow. So, so, you, you, so, you, so I've heard that. It's like, so, yeah. so they I might feel, be trying 166, 166. Uh -huh. You 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 you're testing those limits of physics. Right. Otherwise, you're not you're not in the race. You don't want to do it safe. They I have feel to that drive on the edge. They have to drive on in the, the red zone all the time. All the time. Yeah, yeah. In order to do that calculation, you have to know the exactly. the angle of the bank. Right. And it turns out, within some tracks, the banks are not the same. Mm -hmm. oh. The bank angle is not the same on different turns, and it's not the same from track to track. At Charlotte Motor Speedway, the angle of the track is 24 degrees. How so, do I use that? So as a, as a race driver, yeah, yeah. how am I going to use that banking to my advantage over my opponent? So Gary, let's think about the 24 degrees, but let's, okay. start, at zero, let's start at zero degrees. So, so here's a track that has no bank at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can imagine that. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no bank. Just an oval. If there was no friction between your tires and the road, and you try to go into a turn, you just keep going straight. Mm -hmm. You're not going to turn. All right. Because you're not, you're not connected to the road. So you're in a straight line, and you will continue in a straight line unless acted on by an outside force, one of Newton's laws of motion. Right. If you bank the track, what will happen is the track now turns you. Right. Okay? The track can actually engage a turn even with no coefficient of friction at all. Mm-hmm. Okay? Ooh. So now put in friction, mm -hmm. and now you've got grip, You've got to, so you can just take that turn. Just, right. just, just, just feel that turn. And, and you know it and you feel it. So there is one speed, one speed that will maximize how fast you can go depending on the friction between your tires and the road and the angle and, sorry, the radius of curvature. Mm -hmm. All right. Because if it's banked, but it's like really, really long, right. that's not, right. not a thing. So I did that calculation for Charlotte Motor Speedway. It was 165 miles an hour. Then you watch them in the race. There they are hitting above 200 in the straightaways. Then they go to the turn, and at the peak turn, they're 165 miles an hour every time. 